Hiya, I'm Jasper, and welcome to your video review for Devotion. It's a movie starring the He Who Remains guy at the end of the universe from Loki, and the guy who plays essentially Iceman 2 in uh, Top Gun Maverick, aka Glenn Powell. So, as always, I'm going to give you the good, the bad, and the furry. To start off the furry, nothing notable. Moving on, the good, the bad. So, this is a movie set in post-World War II during, as the, like, opening scroll thing, uh, you know, this kind of the start-ish of the Korean War, uh, the, the Forgotten War of America. And uh, it follows our two main characters, and um, one of them is, you know, James Brown, and then the other one is a new guy from the Academy, and he's just getting introduced to this unit. And essentially, it's sharing the story of their two's bond and adventure, and uh, really the experience of, you know, the black guy in the 1950s, where, you know, racism, and like, the black guy's a fighter pilot? What? Type of thing is going on. Um, and, you know, then there's some some fighter movement things. I have to say that I, I like the, the fighter aspect of it. Now, it's funny that Glenn Powell's in this because he was just in Top Gun Maverick where they were flying around super fast jets, pulling lots of Gs. And then you go to this one where they're in for World War II or post-World War II fast jets. Uh, and it's kind of funny to see the similarities and the differences and how those were shot. Uh, and I guess apparently Glenn Powell's also an executive producer on this, so, you know, good for him that he's investing his money. Uh, bad for him that I don't think this made a whole lot of money in the box office from what the IMDb said for cost versus box office, so hopefully home rental. Um, <laughs> but here's the thing. This movie, really beautiful, lots of excellent shots and footage from... Uh, aircraft flying around, and even when they were doing some of the close-ups and some of the, like, incoming fire and whatnot that obviously you, you can't feel it, you know, uh, actually film <laughs> in real life, you had to do some CGI, that all looked great, looked really realistic. Uh, I felt that the it didn't have as much, I, I don't know if suspense is the right word, but it just, it didn't keep me super interested, and I think there's a couple reasons for that. One is that they were trying to show the, like, the other aspect of things of, like, why this guy mattered so much. So they had just some random racist assholes that sort of got in fight, sort of didn't. And then, you know, later on, they're, like, they're showing these random assholes and they're suffering because it's fucking cold in Korea. And they're just like, oh, oh, this sucks. And then, you know, our hero guy comes over with, you know, doing air, close air support type of thing and um, taking out ground troops that are advancing on them. And it's like, no, yeah. We get it that these guys are assholes, and then they're like, oh, wait, the black guy saved us. Maybe we shouldn't be such racist assholes. Uh, but I just, I didn't give a fuck about these guys. And the fact that we kept going back to them, it's like, I don't care. I really, I don't even, I, I didn't see and I don't predict that them seeing the black guy save their ass is going to make them any less racist. I just, I don't see it. And I also don't care. And... The fact that we even at one point had one of our heroes like walk by them afterwards and it's just like, I, I don't care. I don't care. Do not. Not a little bit. So maybe that was just me, but I just, like, I, there was no redemption story going on for them in my opinion. Like, fuck them. Uh, the other thing is that our main character, understandably so, uh, but not the most likable of characters. And I get it because he's, he's like, I think the first uh, black you know, fighter pilot, uh, or at least he was certainly the first that all these motherfuckers were seeing, and, you know, the adversity that he would have had to go through to deal with that, and you get a little bit of that, like, he doesn't, he, he's not throwing a pity party for himself all the time, but not by any means, but you do, you do hear as the story develops a little bit of some of the unfairness that he had to go through to get to where he is, and the unfairness that he expects to impact him, uh, differently than, than the other fighter pilots. And, I don't know, like, they, they really lean into, you know, he's got a family, and the family loves him, and all that jazz, and uh, I just, I didn't feel so much for this character, and I feel like it's because we didn't get enough of him. It was like, hey, he's got this family, and we get more from the wife than we do from him. And so, 
it just it felt like there was there wasn't enough of him. I just I was like, okay, so you're you're a bit too stoic, so I can't really see what your your thinking is behind some of these things. So it was hard for me to have that connection because of just how I don't want to say unlikable, but just gruff the exterior was that I didn't see enough or in a I don't know believable way their their the development thereof. And you know, maybe the actual guy, because this is inspired by a true story, and I and I want to stress inspired by, because sometimes when it's based on a true story, usually that's a little bit more accurate, but this opened up with inspired by, so uh, I don't know how accurate it is to the real thing, but it seems to me that they probably dramatized a bit of the, like, you know, fighting here and there um, outside of things, but just in general, like, his accomplishments and then how things uh, ended with the movie, I think, is probably pretty accurate to him, uh, especially given the, like, ending scrawl of, you know, the, the history of things. So I think this is probably a little bit more screen, like, accurate to the history than some other inspired by movies in, that I've reviewed in the past. But all that being said, um, I think that maybe, maybe my main problem with this is kind of the same problem that I had with Elvis, uh, is that... With Elvis, and, you know, I didn't know the story of Elvis, I didn't know the story of this guy. And Elvis had some pretty sad things happen to his li in his life, and the movie, great though it was, had a bit of a sad ending. And this one, I felt like, also, I didn't know his story, and I'm not trying to give away spoilers, but you can probably Google him and what happened, but I felt that this movie ended on a bit too much of a downer note. I like happy ending movies, okay? And this movie was sad. <laughs> and I wanted something uplifting. <laughs> I wanted the devotion to really make things happy in the end, and, uh, I, you know, it, it kind of didn't. So, uh, yeah. So if, you, if you're looking for a bit of a, a downer movie with some great dog fights and great scenery and some some history and some overcoming of adversity then this is a this is a thumbs up movie for you uh, for me uh, I'm gonna, gonna give it a soft thumbs down just because it's not it's not the movie for me I think that it was well made but I just I couldn't quite connect with you know the main characters because I don't felt I didn't feel like there was enough of actual character interaction development to really strike home how these guys were and then they spent too much time on racist assholes that I didn't give a fuck about. Like, whatever, dude. Just fun guy, whatever. Um, so anyway, that's that's kind of where, where I'm at with this movie. Uh, did you see it? Were you able to connect with either of the main characters <laughs> or the racist assholes? Don't tell me that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for this one. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you at the next one. Bye.